expect there was an immediate trust in information coming out of China. That's the first thing I thought. It didn't make any sense. Wuhan 陆续出现了不明原因的肺炎病人。与华南海鲜城有关联的报告尚未发现人传人现。These things called lockdowns start being mentioned. You see all these streets normally. It's always full of people. Nobody knew what a lockdown was. Outside. In fact, the word comes from prisons. All right, next it. Lockdown. Oh well, that's what they're doing in China: welding people into their flats. <laughs> Aside from how dangerous you think the illness was, the World Health Organization reported about 3.4 percent of people with the virus have died. It's just not moral to do that to people, regardless of how many lives you think you're going to save. As, as a government, you have no right to to implement policies that are going to take away people's freedoms, their fundamental rights, separate families. Make them homeless and ultimately kill a lot of people as well. I said to my editors, "Look, I'm going to take this line now、um, on the ethics of this and trying to get people to understand that it's wrong." And they were completely cool with it. They had no problem at all. So,、yeah. when did things start turning around? My work was still really popular. People were really happy with what I was doing.、Um, I, everything seemed fine. Uh, but as we got near to the end of 2020 and the jab rollout was approaching, I began to notice that a lot of my ideas were being rejected. And eventually, I said, "I don't, I don't understand this. What's this change of tune about? I mean, we're still locked down. They're still doing all the things that I've been criticising them for. Well, now that they've got these jabs coming along, it's going to save us all from the." From the lockdown, deserted streets, empty classrooms, and closed shops—all hopes now pinned on a speedy vaccine rollout. So I said, "What do you mean, save us from the lockdowns? They can save us from the lockdowns by just not doing them. What is this idea that they have to inject people for them to th- make a decision to stop something? It is absurd." And、uh, I think they had obviously been told by somebody at some level high up, <laughs> "Look." Now you're going to change the tune. You're going to get all your readers to back the government and be really positive about these drugs that are coming out. I was told by one of my editors, "Look, you've done so much great work on lockdowns. It would be a shame if you threw it all away by being labelled an anti-vaxer." And then I was told, "We will not, as a newspaper, ever publish anything against vaccines." I said, "But this is a completely new." Vaccine. I mean, you filled the paper with articles about how different it is to anything else. What if it's a disaster? What if it doesn't work and injures people? And he just said that won't happen because vaccines are safe.